Welcome to lesson two here at learningguitartoday.com. My name is Ian and today we're going to talk about uh, techniques for your left and right hand as we begin to learn uh, different techniques on the guitar. I guess better than techniques, maybe what we want to call them is uh, proper form. Um, a couple things are important people might not realize, but your posture as you're playing the guitar and the way you hold your hands on the guitar are both very important uh, to how well you'll actually eventually be able to play and uh, how easy it's going to be for you to learn particular things. So let's get started. We want to talk about our left hand first, the one that we do the fretting with up on the neck. If you're a right-handed guitar player, um, you'll of course, or if you're left-handed, pardon me, you'll be using your right hand for fretting, so you just reverse what we're talking about here. Um, a few things. First off, when we're, when, we, when we're using our left hand over here to fret, we want to ensure that our thumb is right on the back of the neck like this. We don't want to squeeze, we won't put too much pressure, but we want to avoid having it way up over the top. Notice how my thumb will be up here when we're playing something, right? What, what happens here is when we're making different chords or picking different notes, we want to be using the tip of our fingers. Um, if you're just a beginner, that's going to hurt a little bit at first, especially if you're using an acoustic. Maybe not hurt as much as it will be sore. But you'll start to build up calluses that will protect your fingers from the strings. But we want to use the tips. So when we're here, we're, we're putting the tips of our fingers on the string so that we're only touching the string that our fingers are intended for. If we bend our fingers a little bit, for instance, if we, we um, that was an E chord I played, Notice my thumb is nicely flush on the back in parallel. If it's up like this, then what happens is, notice my first finger, here's the proper position, it, it curves over like this. I'll show it to you this way. So it curves down basically. And what happens then is I'm over dramatizing this, but you end up blunting strings or muting them. So what happens is your the fleshy part of your finger hits the strings below it, which doesn't allow them to ring clean, right? Hear the difference there. So point to all this, tips of fingers. Keep your thumb flush at the back, always. Okay. Now, the other thing, of course, you've got cut out here on your guitar that's gonna be resting on your thigh. If you find it slips or moves around at all, um, quick little tip, you can grab, grab some, uh, some drawer liner or anything that's got a little bit of a rubbery feel to the bottom of it. You can cut out just a little piece, maybe about yay big. You can place it on your thigh and then your guitar on top of it and that will stop that from sliding around. Don't tape it or attach it to your guitar, just use it between the two while you're playing. Um, posture, try and, uh, you know, shoulders up, try and lengthen through your neck this way so that you're, you're open while you're playing. Got full range of movement of your right hand. If you're hunched over like this, you're losing the ability in your right shoulder here, sort of, to be quick with your strumming. Um, and for your pick, uh, if you're using a pick, you want to hold it between your thumb and index finger, as such, and uh, not too tight. Uh, if you're finding when you're strumming or picking that the that the pick is moving. Uh, two things, you're, you could be holding it too, not firmly enough, uh, but the better chance is you're actually strumming too hard. So try and lighten up on that. The strings will do the work. You know, the body of your guitar is meant to echo the sound that comes through, and uh, strumming too hard just, it comes across, just sounds a little too aggressive really. So don't worry about strumming too hard. When we're talking about strumming too, we want our, our hand to sort of be free and light, almost like we're flicking something off, so we're... Exaggerating, but the idea is just to keep it nice and light. It comes with practice. Again, just some points that you're going to want to keep in mind as you go through. And last but not least, just something else for the left hand here. I talked about having your thumb flush using the tips of your fingers. Something you want to uh, keep in mind is. You only need to press as hard as necessary to make the sound. And what I mean by press is on a fret. So if we want to play this third fret on the E string, that's very lightly. I'll press lighter and lighter and lighter. There, if I press 
press too light, of course, it doesn't make a connection with the fret. But then a little bit harder, it does. You only need to press as hard as you need to be to make that sound. Reason being is if, if you're playing a whole song and you're pressing really hard, what's going to start happening is the, the muscles in your hand start to tense up, and your hand actually gets sore. And that especially starts to happen when we get into talking about bar chords. If you're playing a bar chord, you're using this index finger to make if you watch the first lesson, remember I said when we hit a fret, what we actually do is shorten the length of the string. You can actually lengthen all of the strings by making a bar chord like this, my fingers covering all the strings here, so I basically move the nut from what we call open position up to this fifth fret. But if I'm pushing too hard, my index finger is going to get very tired, which is something we don't want. So, just to recap, make sure as you're learning and practicing, you're focusing on using the tips of your fingers. Keep your thumb down in the back. Hold your pick firmly, but you know, use that as sort of a point of reference. If it's moving, you may be strumming too hard. The, the guitar will do the work for you with the noise, right? We don't want to... It doesn't sound as nice when you play it too hard. Don't squeeze too hard. Try and keep very good posture. Guitar, of course, over your thigh. You can, depending on your guitar, if you've got an acoustic like this, resting your inside of your bicep, your upper arm, is okay. And strum from the wrist, don't use your whole hand and arm from the elbow, use the, use the wrist, okay? So, that concludes our second lesson to today at Learning Guitar Today. So, uh, keep an eye out, the third lesson is coming up next. Thanks for watching, and bye for now.